One thing the cartoon department does not have currently is an infestation, but elsewhere in New York City, vermin abound. I see a lot of rats in the subway. I have met a lot of pigeons in the parks and elsewhere. I um, thought I had a mouse problem, like a single mouse problem, but I've been told it's always a mice problem. Yeah. But I, I caught him in a pot and I released him outside and he ran under my neighbor's door. So. Uh, do you release him into the outside into the apartment building? No. <laughs> <laughs> into the street. Shall we look at some cartoons? I would love to. I insist, in fact. Let's, yeah, please. This one's by Will McPhail. Due to a power loss, this train will be replaced by a wave of rats. There is an entire section in the subway station that I go to that no one goes in because it's just a rat area. It's commuting like anyone else. It just wants to get where it's going, you know, yeah. which often is directly at your feet. Um, here we have the Pigeon King grows tired of your career advice, mother. I like that he seems to be wearing a cape of pigeon feathers, but no other clothes except for tidy whities That's, you know, that's how the Pigeon King does things. Doesn't play by the rules of society. Here's another Rats in the Train Tracks by John O'Brien, where the train tracks are a little rat maze. It's very sweet. It is funny when you see a sort of cute one, and you momentarily forget that rats are rats, and you're like, oh, look. And then like a giant one with like one eye comes out and like eats the little one. Some of them look less bad than others. <laughs> <laughs> this one's by Amy Kwan. Can you cleanse the space of all the roach and my spirits, which is an important thing to do. But not as important as cleansing their bodies from your apartment. Here we have a Raz Chast introducing Roach Hab. Roach Prison. Roaches check in, but they don't check out until they've paid their debt to society. Spot a roach. Roaches check in, but they don't check out until they've gotten back in touch with themselves. And Roach University. Roaches check in, but they don't check out until they've learned some real life skills. Look out, world, because here I come. That's pretty heartwarming. Yeah. I mean, I like to think that all of the roaches I've ever encountered in my bathroom and bludgeoned to death with the shampoo bottle got a good education before they left this world. Yeah. Uh, this one's by Bruce Eric Kaplan. The presentation is dreadful. I agree. I would not eat bread off the street that had been thrown by someone. But you say that, but I have seen you at lunch. That's true. If I get a hankering for some bread off the street, <laughs> then nothing can stop me. Here we have Eliana Fink, where there's a sign that says, please don't feed the pigeons, and then a voice from the tree says, feed the parrots. I would fully support a large number of parrots coming to the city and flying around. My friend is a parrot who started saying what she says while she's working at her desk. So a lot of it is like, just the parrot will just cough a lot and then sigh a lot. <laughs> the parrot just crumples up, up a piece of paper and throws it into the side the of the The parrot cage. writes a brilliant novel and mm -hmm. everyone uh, applauds it. All of the parrot critics are go wild. <laughs> Here's one by Danny Shanahan that's a bit of a crossover episode. A rat saying to a roach, I love your work. They should collaborate on stuff. It would be nice to see like a rat that was crawling with roaches. Or like I was thinking like a roach that like had saddled and bridled a rat and was riding it. Being carried by a pigeon and it can be dropped anywhere. They could achieve a lot more together though. If you want to join us leading the vermin of New York City to greater partnerships, let us know in the comments. We're starting a whole new thing. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's all we've got time for this week. Yep. But if you are a roach or a rat, we hope you enjoyed these cartoons. If you're a bedbug, get the hell out. Bye. Bye.